So I'm going to offer proof to you, definitive proof, that we're not on a spinning ball, that the flat earth models that we've been presented with are incorrect, and that the reality that you consider to be real is a simulation. And it's all going to hinge around the equinox. So I'm showing you right here from Google. I uh, did a search for equinox definition. And this is the first thing that pops up right here. It says the time or date twice each year at which the sun crosses the celestial equator one day and night are of equal length, about September 22nd and March 20th. Now if we go here to a definition at dictionary.com, it says the time when the sun crosses the plane of the Earth's equator, making night and day of approximately equal length all over the Earth, occurring about March 21st and September 22nd. So it says all over the Earth. That's not possible. So let's take a look here at the model, the ball model. Of, of how this all transpires and you can hear see here the September 22nd autumnal equinox so the Sun's at that 23 point I've heard four but here it has five degree tilt and uh, you've got your summer solstice your winter solstice uh, spring equinox and we are coming up on the autumn equinox now if you take a look at this ball here they're saying that it's the same length day all over the Earth. Now what's supposed to be happening is that the equator is lined up directly with the sun. That's what we've all been taught. Now you can clearly see here that the length of the day at the equator right here has got to be much longer on a ball than it is for a place like Anchorage, Alaska up here. I mean this shadow right here shows that as the Earth spins here, that for like an Anchorage, Alaska, that it would be a much shorter day than for something like a Quito, Ecuador, where it has this full revolution around the equator right here. So we know right away that the definition that we are given of this equal length all over the Earth occurring at the same time is not possible. That is a lie. Now for those of you that have been following my channel, you'll know that uh, I have been paying attention to where the sun sets. Uh, my house faces west, uh, pretty much, and uh, I get great sunsets here. Back uh, just before the summer solstice, May 29th, I put out this video, sun north of 30 degrees north latitude. Uh, this is an iPhone and I have the uh, compass app up and the phone is pointing directly west. And you can see that the sun is, is north of that. So this is something I've been paying attention to. And then also recently, uh, September 15th, I put out this video about fat, flat earth daylight discrepancies, showing how the days are longer in Austin, Texas than San Juan, Puerto Rico. So this has got me paying attention to uh, what Websites like timeanddate.com show as far as the angle that the sun is coming up and how long the day is. So I've been doing a lot of praying, really intense prayers, to the Creator asking for understanding as to what is taking place, what is reality, what is the truth. And... Um, this morning, while I was filming, an almost full moon just disappear, which I'll, I'll put the footage at the end of this video. Um, it came to me what I, what I should check, and it had to do with the equinox. And so, with, uh, with the equinox coming up, that means that uh, the equator should be directly aligned with the sun. And um, from the other videos, I understood uh, day length 
and the angle of the sun. And so I decided to start checking cities. And so here is a Google search for cities on the equator. And you can see that um, this answer right here, which cities are divided by the equator. Um, this city right here in Indonesia appears to be the only city that is actually in both hemispheres. And a close second is Quito, Ecuador. So let's check out uh, the city in Indonesia. So here it is, and this is timeanddate.com. We're going to go down here and with the, uh, the autumn equinox, what we're looking for is these angles as far as where the sun rises and where the sun sets. And you can see that around here at the 22nd, 23rd, the sun is rising directly east, 90 degrees, and setting directly west, 270 degrees. Now this time of 12 hours and 6 minutes is a little interesting. We can, uh, we can look into that a little bit later. Another important thing for the city on the equator is that at solar noon, right here, the, um, the angle. So it's, it's going to be 90 degrees directly overhead right around this time here. So that's 22nd, 23rd. In between here is when it's going to be 90 degrees directly overhead at solar noon. So what I did next was start checking the extremes. So here we're back at Google and the search is farthest city north in the world. And um, if you look through here, you'll see that um, this long year bin, uh, Norway, is the, considered to be the nor northernmost town of over a thousand people. So here's time and date, long year bin, Norway. You can see where that's located over here. And uh, we're going to scroll down here. And you'll see that around here at the 24th, the sun is going to be rising just about 90 degrees east and setting 270 degrees west. This is also around the time that the, um, the daylight is equal. 12 hours day, 12 hours night. So it's rising at 90 degrees, setting at 270 degrees. Now let's check our southernmost extreme. So we're back at Google. The search is farthest south city in the world. And we have this Ushaya pronunciation. I'm probably uh, cremating. But we come here to timeanddate.com again. Here is that city in Argentina. You can see on a map where it's located. Let's come down here and check. And right here around the 20th, we've got sunrise <laughs> 90 degrees east and sunset 270 degrees west. And once again, this falls at the point where the day length is equal. 12 hours daylight, 12 hours night. So <laughs> already we can see here that the, around this time, the equinox, We've got the sun rising 90 degrees east, 270 degrees west, both at the farthernmost city, the equator, and the southernmost city, all at the same time. Now I'm partial to the United States because that's where I live. So let's check out uh, northernmost part and southernmost part of the United States. You can see here that if you exclude Alaska and Hawaii, the answers are these. I'm just going to include Alaska for the northmost part. Uh, it's part of the continental um, North American continent. So we got Barrow, Alaska. Let's check it out. Here's Barrow, Alaska. You can see on the map where it's located. Scroll down here. 
And you can see that right in here, around the 22nd, 23rd, that you're going to have sunrise 90 degrees east and sunset 270 degrees west. Now this is also right around the time that the length of day is going to be equal. 12 hours daylight, 12 hours nighttime. Let's check out the southmost city in the United States. Here's Google. Here's the search that I did. And from Wikipedia, you can see that the southernmost point buoy is an anchored concrete buoy in Key West, Florida, making one of the extreme points of the United States. Okay. Key West, Florida. Let's scroll down. Here's Key West, you can see. And right here at the 22nd, you can see that the sun is rising 90 degrees at east and setting 270 degrees west. Now this is right around the time where the day is 12 hours daylight, 12 hours nighttime. What I'd like to do now is, is just look up some key cities in real time live with you right now. Uh, show you that these are not, you know, manipulated or changed charts. Uh, they haven't been photoshopped. I'm just pulling them up live from the internet. So here is uh, Google Maps. And uh, we've already done the extreme far north, far south cities. We've done, um, you know, city on the equator. So let's, let's go to South Africa here, and uh, let's check out Cape Town. Go into timeanddate.com, and let's scroll down here, and you'll see you're on the 20th here. The sun is going to set... Uh, Sun is going to rise 90 degrees east and it's going to set 270 degrees west. And this is around the time that the day is equal day and night. Let's go back to the map here, pick another city. Um, let's check out Sydney, Australia. timeanddate.com scroll down here and the sun's gonna rise 90 degrees east 270 degrees west right around the same time that the day is equal day and night go back to the map here Where should we go? Let's check out Moscow. There's Moscow. We're going to go to timeanddate.com. Right around here, the sun is going to rise 90 degrees east. It's going to set 270 degrees west. And this is right around the time that it's equal day and night. Um, let's check out London, England. timeanddate.com right around here we are going to have the sun rising 90 degrees east 270 degrees west this is about the time that we're going to have equal day and night
Where should we check now? Let's do Beijing. Tamandate.com. Scroll down here. And right around here, we have the sun rising 90 degrees east, 207 degrees west. At the time that we're going to have equal day and night. Are you starting to get the picture that it does not matter where you are in the world whatsoever? That at the equinox, the sun's going to rise 90 degrees east and set 270 degrees west, and it's going to be equal day and night. But it does not matter if you're in the north, if you're in the south, anywhere you are, the sun is going to rise 90 degrees east, 270 degrees west. That is not possible on a globe. Okay? You cannot, you cannot be at a northernmost city and have the same length of day as a city on the equator at the equinox. You can't. Look at this. Let's just spin this around. On a ball, it's a shorter day up north. Now let's put it on a tilt, okay? Because the equator, we know, runs through Ecuador right here. The day cannot be the same length up here as it is right here. It's impossible. There's just, there's just less surface area of, of a ball earth when it rotates. It has to be shorter. Okay? Same down here. So what I want to reiterate is that by looking at the direction that the sun rises and sun sets on sites like timeanddate.com, and there's many of them like that, it's absolute definitive proof that we're not on a ball. Okay, you cannot have the sun set and sunrise at 270 degrees and 90 degrees for cities in the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere at the same time. Okay, the ball model is proved wrong 100% by this information. At the same time, the flat earth model that we've been provided so far, if you take a look at this, here's a flat earth model and you have the equator right here and you have the tropics right here. This cannot be correct either. You cannot have the sunrise if you're here in Alaska at 270 degrees west, or sunset at 270 degrees west, sunrise at, two, at 90 degrees east, at the same time, cities in the southern hemisphere, that is impossible. So how is it that everybody on Earth Come the equinox, we'll be able to see the sun rise in the east, 90 degrees east, and set in the west, 270 degrees west. It's not possible on a ball. It's not possible on the flat earth AE map. But it is possible in a simulation. So... Just take a look here. Movies like The Matrix have given us clues as to how this can be possible. You scroll down here a little bit. I find this interesting. My answer, The Matrix. This is a neurological simulation. We're all gamers. Souls inside of bodies. Body equals computer hardware. Soul equals operating system software. Our experience, that of a user or simmer. So the explanation for how the sun 
can rise in the east and set in the west for all of us at the equinox is that they are being rendered for us where we are for where we are located at the equinox they are being rendered we are in a simulation so what next right here I want to show you my YouTube channel is not monetized and I'm never gonna monetize it I'm not interested in money what I want you to do is download my video I'm gonna set the licensing to Creative Commons which means that uh, I'm not holding any rights any copyrights to it whatsoever I want you to download it I want you to repost it and I want you to make your own videos just like I did back here with the sun north of 30 degrees north latitude I'm gonna play this for you and I'm gonna ask you to look at when the equinox is for your location and I want you to go out and do this so real quickly we are at 30 degrees north about 410 feet above sea level here I'm just gonna show you where I get this thing lined up right with west so I'm just going to shake it out a few times so we get it most reliable answer we can it's pointing west the sun. The sun is north of us. In Austin, 30 degrees north. The sun is definitely sitting north. 30 degrees. that's it I just want you to go out have a compass use your phone something and I want you to record where the Sun sets at the equinox everywhere across the planet people in the northern hemisphere people in the southern hemisphere I want everybody to realize that no matter where you are on the planet the Sun at the equinox is going to be setting at 270 degrees west once you realize this you are going to know that you're not on a ball that the flat earth model that we've been presented with is incorrect and that we are participating in a simulation so while this time-lapse footage that I recorded this morning September 18th 2016 plays I want to just ask you one more time to please on the equinox make a video recording where the sun rose what what degree angle where it's set the degree angle make that video post it share the link with me I'm gonna be making future videos regarding this simulation topic and, and my understanding of it so hit subscribe as well but please share this video please get this out to everyone you can right now thank you